their sacrifice and a lot for us. We're just serving them. Or this why you're here. The USO is, is an organization that affects soldiers at every level. From the time I first joined the Army till today and I'm sure beyond, they're always there. I appreciate it. It's, it's like a family away from home. The reality is that we're here because we love these guys, these gals. We're always there. We don't go away. And we let them know how much we appreciate everything they and their families do for us. We serve 300,000 military members and their families every year. When people come through this door and they feel that immediate comfort, we've achieved what we meant to do in the USO. Our USO here in St. Louis is able to provide a place for the military folks 24-7. I always look for the USO at the airport and they're always so welcoming to you. You may not know who they are, their names, or where they're from, but just to feel the love, it's, it's so supportive. Some of these kids never been away from home, so we help them out and we give them a safe place to stay. In addition to the two facilities at the airport, there is a USO at Fort Leonard Wood. This is a place where soldiers can congregate and just be comfortable. Thank you so much. And then we have the USO Mobile, which covers the entire state of Missouri and the four adjoining counties in Illinois. You know, they all understand what we soldiers do, what we need, you know, to uplift spirits and keep morale going while we're going from place to place. The USO takes on the initiative to put on our fundraisers to help garner funds for the agency, and one of our biggest ones we do every year is our mud run. <laughs> We definitely got to support the troops out there, they're out there fighting for us, so we can do a little bit for them. And in the fall, we always do our concert series, which is the Red Rock and Blue concert, and we do that at the pageant. There's a lot of USO stuff that's right here in the States that need funding and need help and just need support. So I think it's really cool to be here. We host Santa's Express down at Union Station, uh, bring in Santa and Mrs. Claus. Our Christmas pictures each year have been from here, and I've got a picture to compare their growth sizes. The military active duty love to see Santa, it gives them a day, and they get toys. This is our fourth year, and the kids have loved it. For the actual military traveling home for the holidays, we do holiday block leave. People are just so excited about getting home. They can't wait. We get about 5,000 to 6,000 troops moving through, which is an amazing feat. I give you a bed to sleep, food. You gotta hop on some, you know, on the computer, you can go on there. Almost feels like I'm at a cafe and not in some airport. Our volunteers are a godsend to us. We would not be able to do all the things we do for our military without our volunteers. It's so nice to be able to feel like you can do something for the troops because they do so much for us. Unfortunately, some of our volunteers that have been here since the beginning are aging. We could use some young people who uh, can carry the heavy stuff for us. It really is important to keep the group of volunteers coming in new. My favorite thing is actually serving the chili dogs and nachos. Um, you always get a big smile when you give a nice chili dog out. I do a lot of the training for our new volunteers and I tell them, you know, you don't realize it now what an honor it is to serve these young men and women and their families. I just keep getting more enthusiasm every year for it. The USO is a complete nonprofit, which means we are not funded by the government, the DOD, the military, or any military agency. We do not receive United Way funds, nor are we affiliated with the national USO as far as our funds. Everything that we do, that's all done with local money. Our USO is incredible, uh, ensuring that every dollar that's earned is spent in support, bar none, for the men and women who serve our country. That's one of the hardest things during a deployment is to wonder, you know, is your family okay? It does kind of put you at ease if you know that your family has a place to go and they can be taken care of too when you can't be there to do that for them. We're in this together and the USO is at the heart of that. We're there whenever they need us. 